Okay, hello and welcome to my uh, quick tutorial on the AutoCAD 2020 and its main features for you as users. So, just going to load up AutoCAD. Go through the installation and opening screen. And then this should load us straight into our home screen, which will allow us to do either start a new drawing, select a to template, so you might have a template already for you, so you can use one that's already a default on AutoCAD. Open some files, open a sheet set. So again, this might be you've received a drawing from a company or another um, provider. Search an online template, or you can explore some sample drawings which is embedded within um, AutoCAD. So what we're going to do is we're going to just open a normal drawing to start a new drawing. And then it loads up the AutoCAD screen. So uh, here, in this space here, within, is our model. On the top, we have our tab. So this is obviously drawing number number one. On the right-hand side, we have what plane we're in. So top, front, right-hand side, the back, the left. Go back to the front or we have the base or the bottom. So it's an orient back round to our top feature and then just flick round north, south, east, west. Or obviously if we just press the home function, that would give us a nice isometric view or free view, 3D view of our shape. So going to go back to the top. Down here, workplace coordinates. So this is obviously our currently set on zero, zero, so this is our origin, so everything left then is in the negative space, everything below in the negative space, everything upwards in the positive along the green line, and everything to the right positive along the red line, obviously between the green and the red, we have our positive workspace, so we're going to leave those as standard coordinates, you can obviously set up for if you have maybe one or two parts within the model space, you can move the coordinates to help you draw. On the right also is our quick access panel, so we've got a full navigation wheel. You can have uh, change the wheel to sort of mini or object based or building based depending on what, what you're drawing. We have the pan function, okay, so you can move the screen around, best view. Either select the pan, left click to hold the pan, or you can have the middle button on your mouse if you're using a mouse. Then we have the zoom function, so you can zoom the extent, so obviously you always say zoom in and out on your scroll bar, on your mouse if you have one. And we have orbit, which allows you to obviously rotate in a more of a three-dimensional waveform. Select that to the top. And the last one is we have slow motion, so you can provide some sort of motion behind your part in your drawing. Along the top, nice and straightforward, is we have our bars of 2D. So this is our draw bar, so a line, polyline, circle, arc, rectangle, eclipse, and a mirror hatch. Also, you see some of them have drop-downs. So drop-downs, we have circle radius, diameter, 2.3 point, tan, tan, red, or tan, tan, tan. On the arc, the same again, depending on what arc you want, continuous arc, or a start center, or a start on an angle. You can select all of them in here. A common one, though, is mostly three points selected by the user. Rectangle or polygon, so over a click click to two corner rectangle or polygon to a desired number of um, corners. Eclipse, center, or along an axis in an end, or again along a, a, an arc. And last one, hatch or a gradient or a boundary, just to showcase some type of um, hatching or gradient for your part. Moving on, then we're into the modify sections. So this is how we then move our um, geometry around. So we have move, copy, stretch. Rotate, mirror, or scale, trim, fill it, or we can do a pattern or, or an array. Then we have arrays, explode, which breaks apart a component, or we have offset. Next bar is our annotational bar. So this is stuff like text dimensioning, creating tables and adding in leaders. This is obviously annotate our drawings. Next along is our layers. So this is how we add layers. So we can obviously um, showcase some layers in layer properties. We can add in here all sorts of different types of layers. So we could add, so start going through like a drawing layer. You can have a construction layer. You 
you could have a dimensions layer, so you've got dims or your dimensioning. You could also have a uh, we'll get on to renames. You have a um, center layer. And also we have some hidden detail. So that's just some, some lines um, that we can have. So if you look, look along, obviously we need to distinguish now our layers. So you could say, well, center lines, never a continuous line. So center lines, we load into the Autodesk bar. You scroll down to find center. Okay, here we have, so center. Center times two, so this is obviously center half, so 0 0.5 of the scale, center times two, twice as big. So we're going to go for normal center, standard scale, load it into the options and load onto our layer. So there's our layer there. Also, I don't want to use white the whole time, so I'm going to choose yellow for our center line. Construction, construction is always going to be continuous. Okay. I'm going to name that on red so it's nice and clear when I use my construction lines. Dimensions, I'm going to use a green. Just shows nice um, and reflects a white or black background on our dimensions. Same continuous layer. Um, drawing, I'm going to keep it white. Now, okay with white is, is obviously uh, this one here is, is the color code white. This one here is the color code 255. So if you look at the Adobe, Color scale, 255 is obviously proper white. If you choose the color white, when you change uh, a line, it, it contrasts the background. So if you use a white on a black background, it will show white. When you change it to a white background, it color codes the line as black. So it obviously has, has a contrast so you can see. So we need that one on color white. Last one, so we're going to hidden. I'm going to change the line type. So you load in again. Find hidden. And again, with the same options, hidden half scale, which is hidden two, or hidden twice the scale, which is hidden times two. It just depends on your scale. Most of my drawings are going to be for engineering based, so they're going to be quite a standardized scale. And I'm just going to name hidden. I'm going to go for more of a gray color because it's hidden. Next up, line defaults. I'm going to use the default one, but if you draw to a technical standard, Okay, you can obviously select your line weights depending on what standard you're going to draw for. So I'm going to come off of this one. Just going to close down our layers. So that's our layer function. Next we have our block function, which is how we insert maybe other blocks or insert pictures or insert other um, useful criteria for our drawings. Then we have the properties function. So this is stuff to do like layers, line types, any type of scale. Group function, so grouping stuff together, or exploding or unexploding a group or separating. Utilities for stuff like measuring, just not recorded, so just quick measure of, of a line. Clipboard, obviously paste, copy, and cut. Then we have a view, so this is if you're taking like a view from a model space, if you've made like a 3D view in stuff like Inventor. And last one is, is touch mode, so I have a touch screen. So I can enter in here. So I can actually use my touch screen to move around and pan. Um, obviously not available if you don't have a touch screen attached to your setup. So down the bottom here, bottom left, okay, we have our model, layout one, layout two. So model is where we always draw, layout one, layout two. As you can see, they're like page layouts. So you can set up your own printing space in here and then move the model around for your printing layer. And then the plus is just to add more and more layouts or you can copy and paste. Down here is our command bar. Sometimes your command bar might be on the left hand side or up at the top. You can move the command bar. Um, I like my command bar at the bottom, nice and small. Here is just the last commands used. So just will show you a bit of a history. You can also open up the bar to show you all of the full history. This is stuff to do a lot of type commands, which obviously we know from Autodesk. Model or paper space, we can flick between model or paper space, so it just flicks us between the layers. Then we have our drawing grid, grid on or grid off. Then we have our snap mode, so polar or grid snap, so we can use grid snap because we're on a grid function. 
author mode on, which restricts the, to 90 or um, 180, 270 or 360 degree lines, locks them in place. Restrict the cursor along an angle, so we can always say, instead of working in 90, 180, 270, 360, we can work in 45, 30, 23, 18, 15, 10 or 5, or you can make your own tracking setting up. Moving along here, we have the isoplane, which is how we draw isometric views. So when we take our standard drawing, when we draw an isometric view, we just choose what plane to draw on. And we're coming down to object snap. So this is, this is tracking on, on the snap function, pick up your line points. Next, we have 2D reference snap. So again, this is where we have our snap commands. And if you tap the little arrow next to it, I've got all of mine ticked on. But actually, you can just maybe have a endpoint midline center, maybe you want to take off nodes, intersections, or quadrants, or stuff like perpendicular is quite handy, tangents if you're using a lot of circles, nearest, parallel, and obviously you can also open up the settings to have more or less. Then we can down into show annotations, show scales, and then what is the current scale from the current view. So we also always should draw in one-to-one -one in AutoCAD, ideally, unless you're doing anything major and you may want to apply a scale from, from the word go. So that's like if you draw one meter line, then obviously if it's on one to two, it's then half the scale, two to one, twice the scale. You also make your custom scales in here, or you can do percentages and X ref scales if that's what you are going to be using. Down here we have workplace switching and some settings. So if we go and draft an annotation, 3D modeling. Annotation monitor, so you're just monitoring any annotations. Isolate objects, and then we have clear screen and then our customization tab. So that is the whole tabular bar for AutoCAD. And obviously we have the insert function to insert all this data here, so blocks, block definitions, any references or further images or drawings. Import a PDF into a drawing, import some text, import any data from Excel or Google Sheets or a um, standard spreadsheet style setup or database. Link in an extraction, so link any data from the drawing, whether it's, it's automatically filled out or extract it. Set location, so we can say from a map or from a file, and again, a touch mode. Annotate, where we find all our annotations. Okay, so if annotation of text, the text standard, find a specific amount of text on your drawing, text size. Dimensions, so linear dimensions or automatic dimensions. Linear, quick, continuous inspection, update, link or reassociate, um, jog lines automatically adjust and breaks. So this is obviously depending on what standard and then we have a list of standards you can use standard or ISO 25. Center lines and center marks and we're in here. Leaders, so it's again to identify stuff on assembly lot and assembly drawings. Tables, markup, so you're gonna mark up a drawing for edit scale and then again touch view this is the view of our tabs what we can and can't see um, stuff like viewport configuration for our layouts and model spaces dwg compare compare one file to another we have our palettes so stuff like tools properties blocks and set sheet manager so if you're doing lots of lots of drawings you want to make a set on a sheet manager rather than having individualized files and then our interface Manage, so you can record what you're drawing. Customization, application, CAD standards. So this is where we, if you want to run a standard from day one, you can find the standard and input into AutoCAD. Clean up, output, plot, so if a plot to a printer. Batch plot, so batch plot multiple files. Preview some files and how you set up the manager. Export functions, DWF or PDF. Add-ins, you can go to the application store and add in lots of different um, stuff available in AutoCAD and stuff like any architectural tools, symbols. You can have some electrical symbols. You can have some motors, pumps on hydraulics, all available from the applications manager. 
So mine just got some standard apps and you'd obviously go through and take you to the website. Collaborate, so this is where you collaborate between different people. You can share views and files and then allow them to compare files from around the world. Express tools, just to quickly edit, line, annotate using these functions here. And last one is the features app, which will connect you to the app store. This is just what people are currently using that's quite popular. On the top, obviously got new file, open file, save, save as, open from web or mobile, so if you link in your mobile phone, save to web or mobile, plot, undo, obviously redo, and then you can add loads more and on what you want on your quick access bar. On the top, so obviously this is AutoCAD 2020, I'm using a student version um, as part of my uh, educational license. What my drawing company is, I haven't saved it, so just drawing one. This is the help menu, so I could type in how do I draw a line, and it will hit the enter button, and it will bring you up how I draw the line command, and lots of stuff from AutoCAD which will help me to associate with that problem. Goggles, which is obviously search, and then this is my Autodesk account up here, which obviously then you sign in, show your purchases, app store, and then how you connect with the online community, and then there's just some more helpful advice up here. Obviously then, close, restore, minimize the main program, and then close, minimize, and restore the actual drawing. On the A, like at any sort of particular um, standard a, uh, office C based package, you obviously have your commands to new, open, save, import, export, publish. If you want to publish to a 3D printing service, obviously, if you draw all of the views in surface, archive to an archive um, server, e transmit, so package up a whole um, set of drawings and send to a customer, email or share the view, print, obviously, print, plot, batch, preview, page set up, 3D print, and manage. Last one, utilities, this is stuff like drawn properties, compare, set your units, do an audit, status, purge, remove any unknown files or files that are no longer there, rec and recover. Last one, obviously, then is close, close code drawing, close all drawings. So there we have it. That's just a brief overview on all of the features that you uh, can select in AutoCAD 2020. If you stay tuned, um, look at the rest of my videos that will show you how to make stuff like um, drawing templates, title blocks, and then we're going to start looking at drawings and how to move forward using AutoCAD 2020. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to click the subscribe button if you'd like to see any more, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos.